Graph and Stone uh, essentially make the world's most eco-friendly and sustainable paint and we have the best of old traditional materials and modern technology. So the old traditional materials that we use are generally lime um, and other mixed minerals and as a species we've generally stopped using them about 50 or 60 years ago um, due to the uh, advancement with acrylic paints and solvent based paints. They were generally cheaper to produce and performed better. Um, so what we've done at Graffenstone is we've weaved graphene through our paints on a molecular level which drastically improves the performance. So we now have a product that is eco-friendly, sustainable, which is what the minerals are, um, with modern technology put through so we have a washable finish, a flexible finish, tough and durable and completely breathable. CO2 absorption is a natural occurring process with lime. So when you turn lime into a pliable material and apply it to a surface, it generally wants to turn itself back into limestone. To do that, it needs CO2. So it, absor it absorbs about a quarter of its own weight in CO2 um, and turns itself back into stone. So it's a natural occurring property that we've just forgotten about. Graphene allows us to use these traditional materials and turn them into a modern product, essentially. If somebody's going to go eco-friendly, the forefront of what they're thinking is it shouldn't really be an inconvenience. So the demands we have on modern paints are durability and longevity, generally. So graphene allows our natural materials to do that. So this thing here is a graphene polymer, um, which took many years of testing to get to. So you can't just grab graphene and put it into paint and expect it to work. There's a technical process. Um, which is quite hard to achieve. The graphene question comes up occasionally um, to do with the safety of it on the molecular level. Cradle to cradle cover uh, every aspect of what we produce and all the manufacturing process and graphene is included in that. Put simply, the fibres we use are quite large so they're deemed non-harmful even when abraded and turned into a powder form. It, it replaces APEOs which are binders which are, are quite toxic. Um, but if you can imagine a two-dimensional honeycomb structure on a molecular level, that's what's running through our paint, so it holds everything together. Most paints have uh, high levels of VOCs, volatile organic compounds, um, which are toxic. That's normally what you smell when you paint, so you have that very distinctive paint aroma. With the houses that we're building being very energy efficient and airtight, we're locking in the toxicity. So to use a product such as Graph Stone, which add no toxicity to your environment, are very, very healthy. In the factory in Spain, we use 100% renewable energies. We use recycled wastewater, um, and all the processes are covered under the Cradle to Cradle Gold uh, certification. Um, but it also scrutinises the products down to 100 parts per million as well, so they're all scientifically tested. It is the most certified paint on the market today for sustainability.